Booze Hound Entertainment presents A Walk in Darkness. Maybe these messages aren't supposed to help us with the investigation. Maybe it's all just a ruse to fuck with us and throw us off. Okay, but what does the double gain from that? Well, you know, I don't think that's the question we need to ask. I don't think it's what he has to gain. I think it's what he wants. What does Lucifer want from us? We're searching for the Demonic Testament, a book written by a demon, and you're coming with us. Hey everyone, thanks for joining the investigation, and I have to say it's been an interesting last few days. <laughs> that it has, and uh, thanks to the Dark Lord himself, we finally have some clues to follow. Yeah, like Lucifer knows I have a connection with Serath, and I think he's using that to capture him. Yeah, and you know what? That's a dangerous situation since the Devil's Dance story basically confirms that Serath is no longer working for Lucifer and is a free agent. Well, this whole investigation's been dangerous. I mean, I've been in danger since I stepped foot in this house two years ago. I mean, look... I mean, I look out the window right now and see the devil's minions sitting in the tree, just looking at us, just staring. It's creepy. I mean, I feel like they're listening to every word we're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it's creepy how these things change back and forth from monkey into crow. I, uh, it gives me goosebumps. and But, you know, I watch them too. I give them the evil eye right back as I transcribe what I see in the Lost Bible. Whoa, whoa wait. Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. You've been transcribing the Lost Bible? Why the fuck didn't well, you tell me well, or, or show me? Well, well, you've been kind of busy with other stuff, and I wanted to take this on myself and see what value it even has to the investigation. And? Well, so far it seems to be kind of... How do I put it? Like a self-help book, I guess. I mean, using hmm. the concept of threes. I'm not really into the self-help thing, but it's actually kind of cool. Okay. I don't understand why it's here and why Sarath is showing it to me, but... So there's no hidden leads or anything in this thing? No, definitely not. And don't read anything into the three thing. I know you. Don't go there. No, it's nothing. Go there. Really, trust me. All right, if you say so. I do. I mean, there's more important things to focus on, like the things we learned from the Devil's Dance. Okay, all right, yeah. So, okay, let's see here. Um, so as we already said, we know the minions are working for Lucifer. We kind of had that idea, but now we kind of know that for sure. Right. And we know that Serath is a free agent. Again, we sort of suspected that, but now we know for sure. And we know Sarath took Christian's soul and still has it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That kind of, um, I don't know. Uh, I just, I don't know what to make of that. I, what, what is Sarath after with that, with keeping the soul? Whatever it is, the demonic testament is part of it. And we're somehow in the middle of it. I just know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I still can't figure out why. Why us? Um, because he wants our souls? Lucifer? No, Serath. He took Christian's soul. He probably took the souls of his apostles. Okay. I mean, he took my baby soul. He's collecting souls. We're probably next. <laughs> well, that's definitely a possibility, one I don't want to think about, but I gotta think there's more to it than that. Okay, he wants something else and our souls. I mean... <laughs> Seriously, though, I think we hold some value to Serath. He chose us to find and publish his book. True. And the answer to why us might lie inside that book. Okay, yeah, but I don't know. I There's got to be some kind of connection here. I mean, you've got a connection to Serath, but I don't. I mean, not as far as I know. Not that you know of, right. Um, maybe you guys crossed paths back in the day. Maybe he just 
wants you for your investigative geniusness. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess you're right. I mean, I just feel that if I knew what that connection was, that, I don't know, it could, it could help us see things better. You know, it could help us connect some of these dots that just don't make sense. Well, you know, we just need to follow the leads the best we can. And right now, the best lead is in the Devil's Dance story. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I, I We definitely have to be careful with what we learn from this, though. I, you know, I Lucifer definitely does not want us to succeed in finding this book. And in fact, I think his minions hanging around here all the time kind of put a kink in Sarath communicating with us. I mean, we haven't heard from him in such a long, long time. Well, true, and which is why we have to take advantage of every crumb we can get our hands on. Yeah. I mean, what else did we learn from the story? All right, well, we learned Sarath is drawn to Ariel, you know, Christian's girlfriend. Yeah. Um, and I think we can believe in that because... We got the same vibe, the same information from the God Fail book, too. Right. Well, you know, but how can that help us find the Demonic Testament? Well, we do what the Minions probably did. We look into Ariel. This has been the Supernatural Thriller Podcast, A Walk in Darkness, produced by Booze Hound Entertainment. Follow A Walk in Darkness on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe.